four, three, two, one. Three games in, two in the league and one in the League Cup. Two wins and one draw as Gary's Blues get off to that vital good start that we all wanted. It has to continue this Friday. It's a good sized crowd and the first game under the footlights since St Andrews kicks off against East Midlanders, Derby County. With just two league draws under their belts, can we again dent their promotion hopes by stealing all three points and keep that desired point on the table? Didn't want to talk about him last week, but a very gaunt Mr. Young is out on bail. The shadow of his former self in prison life takes its toll on the once known of Blues. We now have another long wait to see the final outcome of his appeal. Blues away day at Burnley saw a share of the points. Blues put in his shift only to be thwarted by a stunning free kick. Cottrell gave away a very soft free kick and also Spectre could possibly have been sent off. For me, it was a penalty for Blues all the way. Top of the table and Gary Rowett's wry smile in the post-match interview. No Tuesday game as Brentford at Brentford as they are relaying the pitch. Had all summer to get it right, guys, but they rightfully compensate Blues fans for travel expenses. That gives us an extra rest, ready for Derby. Let's hope we can take advantage of it. Just another week being a Blues fan. So there we are, Monday night at 7.30 means only one thing. You can forget anything like EastEnders or Emmerdale or anything that's on telly. It's a talk, and talk show along with myself, of course, my old mate Chris Pugh. Good evening. I wouldn't say old because he's actually younger than me. Mm. I know he doesn't sound Just it. Just about. I'm I know he doesn't look it, but he is. And uh, Mr Brown, you're in tonight. I am, yes. Uh, no capo. Capo's chair is no, empty. No, no, no capo. Do you think it was the uh, Harry Bows that put him <laughs> off last week? <laughs> 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 I'm scarred him for life. Scarred me? I understand. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, as the introduction said, then three games in, two in the league, one in the League Cup, two wins and a draw. Happy about Chris? Yeah, very happy. Um, more than we could have wished for, really. I think you'd have definitely taken a, a point away at Burnley, considering they were in the Premier League last year and that they've kept a, the nucleus of their squad together. Um, so, yeah, to go there and play the way we did, I, I think we, you know, I think they were a bit surprised at how how strongly we went after him, especially in the first half, um, and we got our rewards for it. I watched the game uh, on Sky, um, mm. uh, and uh, I wasn't, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't expecting the kind of a performance that we put in. I didn't, yeah. I didn't think that we'd um, turn up and, and really take the game to Burnley yeah, as we, we did. Yeah, we did, yeah, yeah. And, um, and in, in some respects, Burnley, they looked a bit jaded and a bit sort of like disorganised. Yeah, I don't... I, I don't know whether it's a bit of a, a hangover still from from being relegated last season. Um, I think they drew their first game. Am I right in saying that? Uh, you, know, you know me and my yes, head. Yes, they did. They drew. They drew away at <laughs> I Leeds. I have to ask you the questions. Know, yeah. <laughs> they drew away at Leeds in their first game. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose the first game back at it was their first home game of the season. Um, and I think their fans sort of expected them to to come out the traps quickly and uh, and roll someone like us over and and I think that played into our hands because when we did go after them, which which we did, you know, Absolutely, we, we yeah. didn't just sit back and and accept and try and take a point. We actually went, you know, took the lead twice. So we actually went at them, and I think it shocked them a little bit. Yeah, 
encouraging signs, you know, to take on what was, um, you know, a relegated Premier League yeah. side. And not only play so well, but you know, we, we absolutely could and should have won the game, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, uh, for me, the penalty was a penalty. Though. Sorry? Don't get greedy, though. Take the point. Take no, the no, point. no, no. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I, yes. I'm, I'm thinking like of the whole performance. You know, Burnley certainly played a lot better in the second half yeah, than yeah, did the yeah. first. Yeah, um, I think it woke him up but at for me, time. For me, he, he trod on Donaldson's foot. You're not convinced? You might. You might. You're not convinced? No. Did, did, if, if that's given against us, I think we're screaming blue murder. I think. All right. Okay. We, well, we, 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 we'd, we'd, I'd find it desperately unlucky if that penalty was given against Blues. That's okay. the way I'll, I always look at it that way. Mm. You know, because when you see a Blues player go down, or, you know, it's it's our natural reaction to think, or, well, I was, I was actually, all, all of our players are honest as anything. I was but, watching the game with a Stoke fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't, you know, what, what I'm, I'm doing, sort of like congregating with those kind of people. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing? On a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, um, uh, and he was screaming blue murder that it was no penalty what a big yeah. fairy going no like that there's something or there. anyway uh, I think half, half time yeah half time it was the first half wasn't it yeah first half mm-hmm. the penalty yes. no second half no second, second half right yeah. sorry the, the end of the game yeah. we sat in sat in my kitchen and um, he was in the chair like um, right, kind of around the corner of the table and as he stretched his leg out, he just touched the, my ankle, right, so slightly. And I went down on the floor and said, send him off, send him off, send him off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, all in all, all in all, uh, yeah, a fair result, I think, all in all. At the end, yeah, I, th- I think so. What a I free kick. So. What a free kick. Yeah, exactly. No, I, there's God. not a lot you can do about that when, mm. just, you just, when he pulls that out. He's got that in his locker, to be fair, Tyler. And, Granger special, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like, like I say, when... When he pulls that out, there's not a lot you can do about it, really. And at the time he scored that with ten minutes left, you mm. think, "Oh, that we could be really under the cosh here." So, you know, I think we did well to hold on and and, and take the point back. Really, remain unbeaten against a good side, a side that I think yeah. will be up there at the end of the season. Yeah, okay. and, uh, uh, back, just back to the shout box. Yeah, um, yeah. SKC said he thinks it was, uh, he thinks it was soft, referring to the penalty. Yeah, the penalty. Uh, well, he said, but the ref had given given several soft decisions. Yeah, and, the, and the I think ref, I agree. In, in my he, opinion, on both sides, and I did put this on yeah. Twitter on Saturday, he, he was poor on both both mm. accounts. You know, both mm. both teams, um, and I think you know. Really, have, I mean, the championship. There's so much money involved in 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 promotion nowadays. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I think they've got up the game a little bit. Yeah, you know, because there were some really, really, really poor decisions. Yeah. Um, I mean, Cottrell gave away a stupid, stupid free kick, and to laugh afterwards as well was a bit, mm, a bit unprofessional in my opinion. You know, it just didn't need to give it away. Yeah. But um, which that's led to their first goal, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, the, the header. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well taken, Adam. You know, you can't take anything away from yeah, that. Yeah, well, but both both their goals were, you know, I'm not sure about the defending on the first one. You know, but but once once that first, once their player flicks it on at the front post, it, it, it is ever so difficult then because the keeper's in no man's land. You, you can't really blame Kuzak and 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 um, was it Keane? I think has just snuck round at the back post. So. Mm. But yeah, That's, like but he's, say, he's good at doing that, though, isn't he? From from the overall performance, you know, at, at this stage of the season, to to beat Reading in your first game at home and then go yeah. to somewhere like Burnley and it's take just a been, point, just been relegated. Yeah, I, I think it's a, a a more than acceptable yeah. return. And now, of course, we've got no game tomorrow night. Brentford, yeah. the game's been called off due to the state of the the, the pitch, which yeah. we'll perhaps come to in a minute. Yeah. Uh, but that then leaves us like those extra couple of days um, rest time for the Derby yeah. game on Friday at St Andrews, as I said, under the floodlights, uh, and it's the first dark one we're going to uh, experience there this season. Yeah. Um, uh, Derby, like saying, if, if, yeah. if we can if we can pull that off, um, I, th- I, I think you know we can really really then start to become mm. a force to be reckoned with within the championship well, with I the squad that we've got. I don't think anybody will fancy coming to us this season. Um, you know, and that's I how mean, it should be exactly. Yeah, that's we, how we've, we've had, had the last keep doing every single every single home game. We've Make had the last three or four like years. Be, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we've know. had the last three or four years where. We, Teams have come to us and, and we've just rolled over. And yeah. all the way back up the yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, uh, but towards the end of last season under Rowie, we had a great home record and we've won our first game, which is important. Mm. Against teams like Derby, who they haven't got off to a great start, but yeah. they are a, a team of real quality players in, in this league. 
um, I, I still don't think. I think even the better teams in the league, this is the sort of place where they won't they won't fancy coming, especially if St Andrews is noisy. Yeah, and I think you know we'll start getting to see teams maybe coming to take the draw, coming to play yeah. for a draw rather than go at us, and, and that'll that'll mm. call. Um, Force a new problem for yeah. it's a bit for of mind team. games at the beginning. Having so to break teams really down, yeah. Yeah. The, the challenge will go from stopping teams beating us to trying to beat teams. Then mm. uh, and, and teams exactly, and te- teams won't get won't attack us as much, and they'll sit back a bit more. And the onus is on us then to to break them down. And I know it's um, it's it, it is only the second game in, and we obviously yeah. have the advantage of playing that that game before anybody else, but. <laughs> We did sit on top of the table for a short while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Saw that. The, yeah. the the table, didn't it feel good? For a couple of hours, the table showed us on nice top. To, nice to see so Gary Wright's uh, Gary Wright's little wry smile there. And also so, to say that, uh, you know, before we were obviously top of the table before uh, anything happened. Yeah. Uh, and he took a photograph of, of that one. Well, it, that's two photographs he's got now at least, surely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you think it can continue? Do you think we can be a major a major force in this division? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say a major force... But then there's been teams in the last few years who haven't been considered a major force, who have just carried on that momentum mm-hmm. of a good start. You know, a good start in this league is so important. Well, we didn't have that good start last year, did we? Well, the last two three, or three two, years yeah, yeah. we've had terrible starts. You know, but you get a good start in this division and the games come so quickly. You know, Tuesday nights, Saturdays, Tuesday nights, Saturdays, that, you know, you sort of just carry on that momentum mm-hmm. playing mm-hmm. games uh, and when you're winning you just want to keep playing football and and before you know it you get to November December halfway through the season and and you're in a great position to to consolidate or, or kick on and then of course you've got that Christmas period with the dark dank nights you know through to sort of February before, yeah exactly you, you where, yeah. where again there's plenty of games over the Christmas period and yeah, so who, who have we got Boxing Day this year? Is it? Yeah. I think Ooh. we're. A, I'm not sure we're a while. I'll get the right. fixtures up in two minutes. Right, okay. I know okay, we're a while. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a, it's Here a we go. Catch, First a on catch up. Box. Okay. Well, a little catch up. Um, right. Okay. Uh, I thought that Rarick took off our attacking threat, uh, Torrell, Cottrell, and Gray, a little too early, but we'll take a point all day long up there. But do you think he's bedding him in though? Yeah, especially especially you know Torrell's new to the team, and I, I think he's. What a real player, goal. by the way. What a beautiful it, goal, is he? I mean, the way he took his goal was good, but but just the way he gets into areas, you know, um, Keefton Belden and Gleeson are such tidy players in the middle. You've been practicing that name all week in front no, of the mirror easy with your hair peasy, brush. Easy peasy. <laughs> have you been Have you been practicing, Keith? Keith, yeah, <laughs> Keith's Keith. a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. But um, they they managed to find him. And there's nobody within ten yards of him. He just he finds to find. Yeah, he manages mm. to find space so easily, and it, it, you know he's so good on the ball. I think he'll be a, a really good player. <clears throat> now, I've seen a lot of um, uh, Twitter tweets of uh, you know people that uh, kind of tell you, you know it's not just Birmingham City it happens at every club. Um, the football manager, you know, you should have done this, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. You know, it'd be better if you played him there. Yeah, yeah. Me personally, right, from from with what team, I've yeah. seen since the eight nil Bournemouth defeat, is I'd rather just shut up and let Gary Rowett do the job. Well, yeah, exactly. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, his record, uh, his record so far speaks for itself, and I don't think I don't think you can question many of his many of the decisions he's made. I can't I can't think yeah. of you know I don't think taking those three off lost us the game. You know we. We give away a free kick and he scored an absolute pearler. That's mm. what that's what you know stole the three points away from us. It kind of stole the show as well, didn't it? That, 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 yeah, that, well, well, you know, right, it's, it was so a it's a quality it was free a cracking kick. goal. Yeah, and you can't take anything away from it. So no, no, uh, and it's good to see Torrell and Keith settling in. Says Blue Hubber. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. It certainly is Keith. Yeah. Mm. It was say like Keith for me. What is yeah. it really, Keith? What? Uh, Keithton Bowed. Keithton Bowed. Yeah. Keithton Bowed. And what about the goalkeeper? That's Kusha. No, the other one, the other goalkeeper. Oh, Ledzins. Oh. <laughs> what do we think the attendance will be for Friday? Be, well, okay, what's it? Nineteen thousand one hundred and seventy-one yeah. for the opening game. Yeah. Um, how do I remember that one? I can't remember like what happened five minutes ago. No, I don't. Yeah. Um, it wasn't on Sky. It wasn't no. Yeah. Right. 
So um, you've got the sky factor, you've got the, the Friday night factor. Night time, Friday yeah. night. Yeah. You know, it, it's not like a Saturday. Some people mm. might have stuff to do on a Friday night. But yeah. then you've also got the fact that Derby will bring a load as well. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. It might not be far off the same. I, yeah, I wouldn't I think say 18 and, half. Yeah. 18 and a half. 18 and a half. 18 and a half, 19. 18 and a half would be a good good crowd. Yeah. You'd be happy with that. Yeah. The sky I'd be line, happy with yeah. 32. Yeah. It's well, not but good. we're not in that position. Good luck with that. <laughs> but we're not in that good. position. Well, we can't hold 32 for a start. So yeah. yeah. How smug would I be if that actually happened on Friday, but by next Monday, you know what I mean? I'll come in next Monday and say, you know, full house. <laughs> did <laughs> tell you. So. Yeah. All right, I did say that I'm going to try and get my... Uh, my um, uh, Derby County friend in next Monday um, <coughs> so I should make contact with him in the week and see what he can do his name's Rockin' Johnny he's a character that's all I shall say he's a character he's mm. he's one of the town's well-known characters not in a bad way right? but he's a character so hopefully Rockin' Johnny can come in uh, next that's Monday nice. night and we can uh, have a bit of banter a bit of banter no matter what the score win, lose or draw yeah you know um, right, okay. Um, tonight's show dedicated to the memory of uh, Ian Handicides, who died uh, today in 1990. Yeah, um, on his day, yeah, yeah, yes, it's uh, just terribly yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. Right, apparently he was, doing, he was doing well, and then mm. he just started relapse a few days later. And mm. Really sad, really sad. Sad, 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 sad. <coughs> right, okay, so... Um, yeah, we didn't. We'll come back to the um, uh, the Burnley game, I think, in a bit because there's been some other reaction that I want to chat about. And mm-hmm. um, nice to see that the, uh, some of the fans are getting involved in, in in kind of interviewing some of the Burnley fans oh, uh, right, after the that. game, and then doing a write up on on Facebook about. Oh, okay. it. That's good um, idea. Yeah, I think it's nice. You know, it, it, it's. Isn't that better than throwing a brick at somebody, really? You know, at the enemy just... Yeah, yeah. it takes the animos. Yeah. 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 What did you think of today's game? And, and, and perhaps social media can play a good part in all this now, you know, because um, we need yeah, to... Yeah, sure. Certainly need to leave all that malarkey behind mm. it's, um, and, and, you know, leave it it's back in the... Idea. Certainly leave it back in the... It's always difficult to strike after the game, though. Because, mm. like, if there is a bit of controversy, your, your emotions do run high at times and it's difficult to get a... A more balanced, common sense, balanced per- view, perspective yeah. Yeah. on it straight after the game, maybe. Yeah, later on in the night. Oh, I am the bringer of gifts. Oh, today. are you? I've got oh, gifts. Nuts? Just, oh, just Any nuts? Me. No. Switch my iPad off. Okay. No, I'll just put that there for me. Chocolate. Harry Bows. No, no. The Harry Bows. I think uh, confused us all last week, and. Did, um, yeah. The Harry Bows are best left uh, where where they where they are. Uh, it's funny, you it most of them as well. I thought you were sure, but dip dab. It is a sherbet dip-dab. I bought your sherbet dip-dab. Oh, I really have bought I your sherbet like dip-dab. These. I know. I like a sherbet like dip-dab. Yeah. Yeah. You seem as though you don't really want it, though. You can't, you can't bit, really have it. It's a bit against it's a bit sugary, my... Uh, Sugary. Well, I, I, I bought Capo one, so can I leave Capo's? Yes, yeah. he's coming in tomorrow. He's coming in tomorrow. He's coming in tomorrow. Print, he's our apprentice tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to take a bottle of water. I really... I did... I did... You know, I was a bit worried because I was, like, going around... Um, I shan't say uh, Asda because that's advertising. Yeah, that's where is, I was. Yeah. Today, yeah. Yeah. Other super and I was going around the, uh, Asda today, mm. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm going to get the team a shirt, but dip dab. We haven't had one for these like since I was about nine. Okay. Um, and then I thought, oh, what about Chris? Yeah. So I bought you that a is. very special, what? juicy, fruity, Ooh. Um, little fruit bowl. That's lovely. Little fruit Thank bowl. You so much. No, I mean you're very welcome to a sherbet dip dab if you wish, because I have a spare. No, I'm but okay, I bought I, think, I bought yeah. you that as a as, as a as a gift. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank Fantastic. You very much. Thanks. What are we going on? Who else we got in this Facebook? week? Facebook. 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 Uh, well, Gabby will be. Well, Gabby. One for Gabby. Oh, we'll have one for Gabby. Anything. Enjoy that. Right. Okay. One minute. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, and then I've also bought in some um, some Uncle Joe's minty balls. Oh. So you can uh, suck, on them. suck on a minty ball shortly if you wish. You're very welcome so, to. The show's done. Show so low brows. But like, the show, but dip, I'm going to eat my show, but dip, dab, live I'm on it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, I have nothing else in the bag, I'm afraid. Well, I do have another one, but I think I might have that one on the way out. Yeah. Five for a pound, so I didn't spend a lot of money on you. But yours cost a pound, Chris. Thanks. So That's you honoured. are obviously... And... Five times more Pewey light than six. the rest of them. Pewy six. <laughs> or it must be a relative. I think that's probably my brother. Yeah. Uh, he said, "Chris Pew, bring the spare sherbet dib dab home for me." And that's your brother, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Now Pewy six. I have a spare sherbet dib dab, and I want you to tell me 
I'll take a picture. Whether you, whether you actually do get yeah. it or not, okay? So there is a Sherbet Dib Dub on its way I'll to... Um, photographic evidence. On its way to your your brother. And that's yeah. Pew, Pew E6, is it? It is, yeah. Pew E6. Welcome to the show, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Sherbet Dib Dub's all round. You have not opened yours, Chris? I'm you? going to. All right, okay, I'm going to. Just went on the, um, uh, actually, Pew E6 is going to upset you now, because he actually disagrees with the um, mm. with the point made. If we beat Derby at home... Yeah, okay, I've just told the Sherbet Dib Dub. <laughs> yeah, get ready with Nobody Sherbet disagrees with me and gets a Sherbet Dib Dub. End of. <laughs> <laughs> that, we can, that we can start start to look at pushing up the table and for any sort of playoff place. We should be aiming for more of a stable season under eight first before we consider any sort of promotion charge. It sounds far too sensible <laughs> for my brother. I, know, I reckon somebody's written that for him. Yeah. I can um, see where he's coming from. Yes, in, in some respects. But I think I think Derby is, is, is a massive, massive game for us on Friday. It, 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 if we beat them, that's a massive statement. Absolutely. Um, but from, from what he's saying... I think I think it is possible for teams to go up too early. Um, you know, when when realistically we are we're not financially stable enough to even consider the Premier League. You know, where where is all that money going to go? How much, it's, it's going it, to be, how much of it is Rabbit going to say? It, it, it would at least be controlled by Ernst and Young at the time being. Well, you know, which which I kind yeah, of yeah. I, I suppose yeah. Um, and, and, and let's face it, a hundred odd million is a hundred odd million, you know, <laughs> wherever it goes. <laughs> First victim of the Sherbet Dib Dab is Chris Brown. I've even pulled me, pulled me headphones out of That's lost complete control. <laughs> oh dear. Um, you're not supposed yeah, to breathe in, mate, when you're well, in. I think you can go up too early and, and, and another mid-table finish. I, I still think is a, is a very good season for, for this Blues team. Yes. Now, I mean, I think I've, I've um, predicted us to be seventh. Mm. You can never tell. You don't know what's yeah. going on really yeah. in the season. No. It's, it's, and, and I think it's a it's hypothetical such an unpredictable prediction. Yes, this yeah. one as well. Yeah. Um, and some good I, teams, isn't it? I, yeah, I, I, exactly. I, I do, what I do think, right, is if we beat Derby on Friday, yeah. that is Reading beaten, yeah. Burnley drawn with, and if we can beat Derby, Derby now, those are all going to be there or thereabouts at the end of the year. Yeah, right? well, I think certainly Burnley and Derby will be up there. Yeah. And then, no disrespect to you know any of the you know other teams, yeah. lesser teams, more. Yeah. You know, um, that is what is you know, the, the start that we've had will sort of like have an impact on on like you were mm. saying earlier their tactics when they come to St Andrews. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. It, you know if. It, if teams see that our two home games we've beaten Reading and Derby, and that's what we want, we surely want teams yeah. to come and then change their game. People are going to be worried coming to us again. It's a confidence builder. Yeah, isn't exactly. Always, yeah. And what what better confidence to say we, you know, we haven't lost this season going into September. It would be, you know, and pu- pushing on even further if we can, mm. uh, and to beat somebody like Reading, um, somebody like Derby. Sorry. Would be a massive statement, yeah. Massive statement, and then, as I say, like to get teams to come to St Andrews and change their game, yeah, right, uh, to try and get that, like you say, to try and get that draw, which gives us that opportunity. With, with like I said, uh, Donaldson, um, um, uh, Keith, yeah. and um, uh, Terrell, Terrell up, mm. you know, up, up, up there. Yeah. I, you know, I, I really think I think there's a lot of engine on this Derby game. For me, there is as anyway. well. As well, <clears> I mean, it, it, I doubt it would make a difference anyway. Whether we whether we win, lose, or draw, mm. but if we do beat Derby, there there is always the chance that should someone come in for someone like Gray, you know, Gray might think, well, you know, there is something here this season, and and maybe I will stay another year to give to give it another go. Maybe he's already decided that. But well, yeah, perhaps that was his absolutely, factor, yeah, you know? yeah, possibly. Just you know, carry on. We, we could look, we could lose and he'll stay, or we could win and he might still go. Mm. It, it might not impact whatsoever, but but you know the confidence within the group. If we if we were to keep this unbeaten run going, would be, you know, mm. it can only get higher and higher. And what would it do for you know long suffering supporters? Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Just carry on. Go on. Ding, yeah, ding, 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 uh, you ding, have a comment ring. on Facebook actually hey. on our Facebook page. Uh, regarding the current comments, surely we can aim a bit higher than mid-table. I think we've got a solid side this year. If we get in more, one more striker and a centre-half, I can honestly see us aim for the playoffs. Yeah. Even if we go up and come straight back down, we get 100, we get 100 million and the parachute. just yeah. to get him relegated yeah. next year. 
Well, don't, should, we be, should we be looking at it? Like that? Perhaps, oh, Chris, oh. to be honest with you. And then what we could do is, is invest that 100 million in the team. Yeah, mm. and 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 uh, you know, and, and, and again with Gary at the elm. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking yeah, proper yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah, yeah. In- invest that money back into the team. Mm. Yeah, um, and then and then perhaps go up again the following year in a more stable environment within within the squad. And obviously, yeah. you know, quite possibly things may. Well, no, we've said this for three years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things yeah. may be sorted out yeah, you know, exactly, by then yeah. at that time. You never know. Yeah, um, but I mean, there's, that, there's absolutely. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong. With with looking at the playoffs and looking at promotion, you know, like I said before, there's worse teams than us who have gone up to the Premier League. Oh God, yeah, um, definitely. You know, but and and they just keep keep riding that wave of of winning games. Hmm. So if we can do that, there's there's absolutely no reason why we can't aim for that. But then if we do, if people are aiming for that and we finish fourteenth. My point would be: don't get despondent at that. Don't think we've had a bad season because you've all aimed. At We've won a couple of games. We were all thinking promotion, and then we finished fourteenth, fifteenth. That that's still a good season for me. With the, you know, under the with current this, with this group, I know, I know yeah. what you're saying, and I know why you're saying it. Yeah. Um. But 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 the crest of the wave effect. Yeah. Well, the longer it can go on, the better, obviously. And the, and and the longer it does go on, the more people will start looking at at possible promotion and playoff places and. And that sort of thing. And then, of course, if you if you've got a uh, you know a quality manager like we have, absolutely yeah. right, and you are at the top end of the table, yeah. other players will look at your club more favourably, um, you know, to join in next year, so to speak. Whereas, yeah. whereas you t- you tell me who who in the right mind, apart from Gary Rowett and his three backroom staff, who would have come to St Andrews after that eight 0 drop? Well, exactly, yeah, mm. exactly. We, we were the lowest of the low, weren't we? Mm. Oh, so. definitely. I'm beginning to uh, gather a sort of psychological profile of your, <laughs> your brother. Oh, dear. Is your brother? <laughs> yeah. He says, I prefer chocolate salty balls to mint balls. I'm now worried. I'm worried yeah. now. <laughs> That's the sort of level of comment I was yeah. expecting from him rather Blue, than the intellectual. Blue Harper football. said, we, we have four points towards safety so far. Right. The quicker we get 50 points, the yeah. quicker we can start looking Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you've yeah. Got, you've, I think you've got to work in stages and that's what they'll be doing. Mm. You know, th- th- They'll be thinking, where are we at the end of this month? Where are we at the end of September? Where are we at the end of October? You know, and, and just keep... keep you, you, can only, you can only assess where you are. At, you, know, you can't look at the end <laughs> of the season now. There's no point. So, so think, yeah. think what, yeah. Think what yeah, we've got it, coming up in September... Think, you know, where are we at the end of September, and and just wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be nice for once in 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 four years to actually look forward to the January transfer window rather than dread it, knowing that well, you know we're going to go, oh no, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Yeah, well, but I, you know, there's with the exception of the top four in the Premier League, I think pretty much everybody dreads the January transfer mm-hmm. window because that those top four are after all your players. So. Right. Okay. Uh, grand and dandy stuff. That's uh, some good, some good debate there, Chris. There is, yeah. There is some good debate. Lots of people joining in. So it's now. No, I can't say that word. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, it's like a mass debate. Oh, dear. it is. Yeah. That's the joke of the day. That's all you're okay, going to get. Yeah. That's all you're going to get. I hope, um, I hope it's the last one. Uh, right. Okay. Anything else on the chat box, or are we? No, it's quite. Yes, yeah, quite a few. On. Um, well, the boosting factor as well at the moment is that we played two good halves against Reading and Burnley, but then we played two very disappointing halves against those teams also, and we have managed to come away with four points. So um, yeah. Yeah, 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 good point. point yeah. What, what, what are we capable of when the? When everyone's fitness levels are back up and the team are gelled, mm. but, uh, then everybody else's fitness levels will be yeah, back exactly. up, and, they, you know, their and, teams we, and we're playing well. well for the ninety mm. minutes. Yeah. And um, that's, I think that's a, that's, a, that's a big key as well, isn't it? You know, like this, this good half, bad half scenario. Yeah. We've suffered with that quite a lot over over the last we like two, three, four years. Yeah, you know, you have a cracking first half and an awful yeah. second half all the way around. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we're the only team to to suffer from that sort of thing, but. I mean, when we have a good first half, obviously when a team has a good first half against somebody, then the opposition have got to do some at half time to rectify that, haven't they? Mm. Um, I, I think it's just it's it's just a general football thing, really, with the except not not just Blues on on our own, but but it has it has sort of hampered us over the last couple of years, and I wouldn't mm. say we had a terrible second half 
again. No, no, I, I didn't say it was. It, yeah. it was certainly um, different. Worse than it was different, different yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. but, but that, that's what I say. The, the first half, I think we just shot them because they weren't expecting us yeah. to go after them. And then once they realised that we were coming to play, then they had to step on it second half. And, and they were a good team at the end of the day. Absolutely, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, look at what we got on the bench. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 And, um, yeah. Spent some money. Sean Dice didn't look very happy, though, did he? <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you can sort of understand. I, th- I think it was a penalty. I, we were lucky to get away with on Spectre. Um, again, if it, if it was Donaldson being pulled down like that... Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got his arms all around him. Even I said, even I said, yeah, he should have gone. He yeah. should have walked for that one. Yeah, so, I think but, I think we were lucky to get away with it. So, yeah. Mm. But um, he's got to watch himself a little bit. A bit hot headed, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, um, he might just be feeling the pressure as well. So we're all feeling it. Chris. Yeah, we're all feeling it. it. Yeah. You've not in, you've not indulged in your fruit. Even. No, I love a I love a double it. Half time. Half time. Oh, half time. Okay, that's only a few minutes. Away. Where's, that Where's half it hour gone? Where's that half hour gone to? Where's that half hour? And it's great, you know, like when that first half hour disappears, you know that you've not had a bad result the weekend, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's like, <laughs> oh, oh, slog this out, let's get this done. <laughs> first half Juventus, second half Ray Bentos. Well done, Blue Ob. I like that saying. I like that saying. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> he must have copied and pasted that one from last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would it not be better to build a team and squad for, for a couple of years and then get promoted rather than get promoted this season we've, 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 it's, it's yeah. debatable really I'm, I do uh, I do understand I do understand that line and I, and I think there is a basis behind it but, but nowadays with the money that you get yeah. for being promoted I, I, you know what just what could you do with that money? You could, if you, even if your squad's not that great, you don't get it you all can immediately build anyway, it. do you? No, no, no. Yeah. you know it's stagnated, but but it's coming in. You know it's coming in, so you can budget and you can plan for these things. And and you know, with a shrewd manager like Rabbit, who has bought in good players with nothing, yeah, what could he do? You know, with with, with that little bit of extra. Yeah, well, it worries yeah, me that other clubs might be, might be thinking the same. Well, thing, yeah, you know? exactly. Of course. Well, yeah. all twenty-four championship clubs are looking at the, are yeah. looking at that money, thinking if we have a good season, we go up. That's yeah. what could we do with it? You know? Yeah, what could we do with Rarit? Well, yeah, yeah, with money. Yeah, exactly. You know, and but but that 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 that's such a hypothetical situation still so far. Oh, listen, but, yeah. with it, I, mean, I mean, every game's hypothetical before yeah, it's kicked exactly, off, isn't it? Yeah, so, exactly. but that's the love of football. That's why yeah. we love it so much because we. We can, but but we it can is say exciting this. to get, you know, it, it's nice that we've had three games and we're not on one point in the bottom three thinking, oh, it's going to be another long, hard one. Mm. You know. And Blue Arbor says, uh, don't forget Cottrell it in the... Uh, yeah, he, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, that yeah, could easily yeah, have been 2-0, yeah. 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 But, but that that was at the point, again, where they were, they, you know, we had shocked them, we'd surprised them with the, with the way we were playing, mm. with the fact that we were playing good of, good football and going after them rather than just giving them the ball and saying, try and break us down, which I think they were expecting from us. Right, I've got to say uh, welcome to, uh, Do- uh, not Docker, Channel K, uh, Capo, yeah. he's uh, arrived late, not in the studio, but he's on the shout box now. Uh, Capo, Tell him what he's you, used. You, ha- yep, yep. Sherbet you, have, you have a sherbet dib-dab waiting for you on the desk here tomorrow. Uh, mm-hmm. That is a sherbet dib-dab. Chris is eating his now, he's already choked on it live on air. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what, I've much older. <laughs> pulled his headphones out. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. But yes, Capo, there's a sherbet dib dab waiting for you on on your table, mate, for tomorrow. And uh, one also for Gabby. Mm. So uh, pass those on with my love. Okay, okay. Um, right, what are we all thinking about the cup? We're going oh, yes. to come to the cup uh, right, in, in the second half, because I've got quite a little um, thing on this. Um, we're going to have half time in, say, four or five minutes. Mm-hmm. So we've, we've done the game. Uh, no, so... Again, it's not a subject that I that I e- even want to talk about, um, but we have to. Um, thoughts, comments, on opinions on on. Firstly, the look of Carson Young when he came out of that prison, uh, and secondly, the fact that he's now got bail and obviously it's his final appeal. Um, could he have any influence, or do you think Ernst and Young and the rest of them have got their fingers on the button there? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's. I think it'd be very unlikely that he's got any sway in it whatsoever anymore. Um, I think the way that uh, BIHL directors have acted. <laughs> sorry. So, sorry, I'm so sorry. Capo said, is it in date? 
uh, yeah. referring to the <laughs> show that did that. Could you have yeah. a check on the back for us, actually, Mike? Because it's something that I didn't do. It's probably about 2026 or something. Like March or 20 just. <laughs> Is it? No, it's March next year. Yeah. March next year, Cathay, you'll live. Right, sorry, go again. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, I, I don't think... I think with Ernst and Young there, I think it'd be very difficult for him to, to do anything, you know, sway any impact whatsoever on it, um, especially on the club. I, I don't think there's any there's any chance of that happening. And, of course, Ryan Young being voted off the board at an EGM at mm. St Andrews last week. Um, chips away at the... Uh, I can't. I was going to say jinx away. Jinx away. The arm, I know. Exactly. You, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, another yeah. little chip yeah. out yeah. of the way. Another yeah. little kind of like. Yeah. Um, but I think it shows that the the board of directors at BIHL, you know, we, we, we've given BIHL such stick. Um, well, you, you imagine, but what? it's the shareholders. Yeah, yeah. BIHL, that are the BIHL. We see. We see two people at exactly. BIHL. That's it. You know, we have categorised that, that whole company under the two people that we detest more than... And their perception is that those are the two people that have allegedly yes. allegedly destroyed very nearly our, yeah. our football club. Yeah. Yours, mine, Chris's, um, and everybody Not else. Not just that's... our football club, though. This is, what, this, this is, from our point of view, it's our football club. But from the board of directors' point of view at BIHL, it's their jobs, it's yeah. their company, it's their livelihood as well. So, you know, they've got every reason to, to want them gone as much as we have because it's their jobs and it's their company mm. that is being destroyed as well. It's being run through the mill. Uh, Capo says Carson Young's been taking hair tips off Gabby Cabby. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he didn't look that clever, did he? He looked gaunt, Very, yeah, yeah, to yeah, say the least. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And and I put uh, I, I went to work on, on um, Friday or Saturday night and, and I was talking to one of the chaps I work with, and I was saying, like, you always have a little football chat. He's not into football, but I always talk football because, you know, that's what I do, you know, and I make him mm. listen. Mm. <laughs> and uh, so on the, you know, uh, Carson Young didn't let out of prison, should have seen a bit. Have you got a photograph of him? And I put the two together side by side, and he said, that's not the same bloke. Mm. He, he said, that is not the same bloke. No. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, um, it, it, it certainly looks like it's much taken his toll on it. strength he's got left, how much... How much will he's got left to actually fight it yeah. anymore? You know, it's easy to appeal and, and let that rest is, for yeah. uh, for whatever it is, but to actually have the 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 will and the energy to actually try and oh, get yourself right. back in. But he's also, to a position also of if power. We look, again, if we look at a positive from BIH, and he's also got the lawsuits coming in from there. Yeah, uh, to both him and and Mister Pablo. Yeah, exactly. Who never answered my emails. Um, to um, you know, for this misappropriation yeah. of um, funds or, yeah, yeah. or or whatever it is, so to speak. So the, it's it's going to rumble on. Yeah. Uh, it's, again, it's not going to it's not going to take it's not going to take five minutes. Um, no. Uh, the appeals next May, I think May the twenty sixth, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. But um, I mean, you, we're in, we're we're here saying how long it's taken us over this pr- protracted saga, and then you've got the two other Midlands clubs. Who are now experiencing exactly the same yeah. thing, trying to sell their football mm. club, and it's not it's not like buying a pack of sherbet dib dibs at the shop, <laughs> is it? it it's I not, queued for them. <laughs> it, it's just not an easy process. Yeah. It's such a yeah. long drawn out like real legal thing. affair, yeah. <laughs> and it isn't easy. And and you know that they're now finding out what we've been struggling with you know yeah and it could have been worse we could have been a black ball well yeah, it, it, there's always somebody worse than that, that yeah. club's just I am surprised worse, actually I thought the Albion and, week, I thought that the Albion and Villa would have been sold but you know quite quickly I was such, really surprised that, you know such we, we, we give them a stick and we joke about it but there is a massive club that has won mm. the European Cup and it cannot be sold history yeah. counts for got nothing, fan base as well you know you know just can't sell it yeah there's two Premier League clubs. How much money is in the Premier League? You thought people would be snapping your hands off to buy a Premier League club yeah. with the money that's in it. And they cannot it. sell it. Every week? Everton. Oh, no, How yeah. long have Everton been yeah, up for sale? Yeah. You cannot sell it. It's just it's mm. not e- It's just not easy. It's not mm. as simple as that. Could be the beginning of that, uh, that bursted bubble I was talking about a year or so ago. Yeah, could be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Possibly, like, yeah. People yeah. don't want to buy it. Possibly. All of a sudden they're thinking, whoa, and then Sky will be thinking, whoa, yeah. what's going on here? And, you know. We'll be thinking, whoa. Yeah. Everyone's whoa. thinking, whoa. Like, yeah. Gosh, you're going to be going, whoa. <laughs> oh. 
That'll take like a lot of energy that. for him. Right <laughs> Mrs. Oh dear, why, why do I bother coming here on a Monday to you not places? <laughs> it's ten past eight already. I think we want to have a half time yeah. break, don't you? Okay, back in a bit. Everybody's in the play and don't you know it's a beautiful new day Sells you nutrition, keeps all your 
your dead hair for making up underwear. Poor little greenie. Welcome back to Monday Night's Talk and Talk Show with myself, Chris Pugh, and Chris Brown, and lots of sherbet dib dabs. The score is currently 2 1. Chris choked twice, and I managed to choke <laughs> once in the half time interval. And Chris Pugh, have you eaten all of your fruit like Not a good all boy? Of it. No, I'm going to uh, leave <laughs> some of it for tomorrow for me porridge. Oh, 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 that's nice, isn't it? I believe you've hit a new milestone thinking thinking as well. Thinking of me when he's eating his porridge in the morning. In your diet, you eat, yes, you hit a new um, milestone. Six, six stone. Six stone. Six stone. Oh, no. Ooh. Hey. I was I was hoping to have the um, the, the applause ready, but I couldn't. Nah, I can't yeah, find it. Now. So you left that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Chris. News from um, the, uh, the, 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 the the social networks last week that we had a listener in from Dubai. We did, and I missed it. You missed it. I missed it. What do you like, mate? Sorry. <sighs> Anything on Twitter tonight? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you gave up. Who was he? Do we know who was? Um, I, I've got a feeling it was an ex-player. I can't remember oh, his name. Great. I'm going to have a look in a minute. Um, I'm going to feel even better. Right. Okay, uh, any news on the competition for this week then, Chris? Uh, we, we've got a competition coming up for our <coughs> next home game. So, okay, uh, and now and these, these are active only on social networks. Yeah, yeah. only on social networks. And you've, you've, seen the, you've seen the prize, which is a new, a new shirt. With, uh, it is. I saw a uh, picture of it on the Talk and Talk Show yeah. Facebook page earlier as well. It's a Blue Nose Union Jacked T-shirt. Handmade, I think, by handmade, yourself. Yeah. Handmade Bespoke, by yourself. Bespoke. 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 Wonderful word. Made in my own. A one Pure off. hands. Just like your good self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so details of that coming up before the next home game on our page. Okay, did promise you last week that we were going to play just for laughs. And again, don't Google it, because if you Google it, you're only cheating yourselves and it just makes you look an absolute plonker. Mm-hmm. Um, whose ground is it this week? Oh, yeah. Whose ground is it this week? Oh. That's like, whose round is it this week in the pub? I put a G yeah. in front of That's the That's never going to happen with you, is and it, really? No. So. no. Well, I've got 50-odd miles to drive home, Chris. <sighs> oh, one of these nights I'll crash over. Yeah. When, uh, when, I'll tell you what we do, right? When, uh, when Mr. Pugh has, 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 has dealt with this diet, right? Yeah. And he's off it. Right, we'll take him out for a, a, a sesh, a night sesh. Yeah. What, a, what a worrying yeah. thought. <laughs> <laughs> it is, for me. <laughs> uh, right, OK, so whose ground is it this week? We're going to play this every week, if I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go down the panel like the other games. <laughs> Just forget. <laughs> uh, upon the crest of this football club, there is a B. A B, a B double E, oh. a B, a buzzy buzzy B. Okay. Oh, a B. That's your first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's that's, okay. that's your first. That's your first clue. I'll give you another one in a few moments. Is it Brentford? Um, right. Okay. We had a question uh, during the half-time break. What do you think of Rowett using stats to find the next player? We quite, can't quite come up with an answer for that because we we, mm. we didn't know that he was using stats. Has he been using stats? S- stats. <coughs> Statistics was that. It, if, if, it's that insta- if it's instead of. Um, you know, just scouting. pure scouting yeah. methods. It, it, it works and it doesn't. It works both ways. Oh. Brentford, I know Brentford have got a, such a mathematical... Everything they do is, is worked out formulaic and mathematically. You know, working out... Every, they've got stats on so much... <coughs> in, in, you know, so much data and information. And everything they do is based on that. Signing players, you know, opposition and everything like that. So... 
so, so, and they had a great season last season. So, you know, yeah. sometimes, sometimes it works, but stats can be misleading as well. So, mm. Mm. Your brother's just said that he's been trying to uh, get you uh, on a session for ages, but you won't do it. No. But you have just agreed to it live on air. I don't think I did. You did think you did. I think we need to replay this later, yeah. Chris. Can you, you be the judge of this? And then can you, when you play that later, can, can you just uh, message yes, me? He and say, yes, he did. <laughs> Your brother's invited too. Is your brother yeah. older than you or younger than no, he's you? Younger, he's right. younger, younger than you. But he is, a, he is, a, he is of legal age. Yeah. He's he's legal like drinking he's, uh, age. Yeah. He's probably the intelligent one. You know? and, uh, well, probably. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll do this probably towards the end of the football season. Okay. You know, when, when, when summer is what just... What happened to the um, sports radio night out at your... Right, OK. I've, 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 I'll come that's to that. That's his expense. Yeah, that was it. That's I've spoken. I've spoken. I've spoken to the company involved... Right, mm-hmm. and they are going to send me all the details, etc., etc. And we are very welcome to do a live broadcast from well, their premises. Well, there, you there you okay. go. There you go. Brilliant. Huh. Huh. Fantastic. Huh. And it was written down here as well. So you no, like, yeah, you, you, well, you jump in the, the queues now, aren't you? Sorry, yeah. No worries. No worries. No worries. <laughs> No problem at all. So the crest shows a B on the badge. That was the first one. The last four digits of their telephone number is 1888. 1888. There is a, a B on the crest of the badge, and the last four digits of their telephone number is 1888. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to that again shortly. When can we say, do we think it <coughs> can we Can we, can we, can we guess? Can we guess or what? You can guess, yeah, because you, you've got no access to the iPad that I've got it written on, so you can guess. You're very welcome to. Mo- oh, I think it's Brentford, isn't it? You think it's Brentford? Yeah. Correctly in. Um, eh? Incorrect. Oh, right. It's not Brentford. Ooh, okay. No. So that, sir, wiped the smile right off your mush. I thought you'd been, <laughs> you were being really clever yeah. and going to link into the next story regarding Brentford. Oh, but, uh, I but you're not. Yeah. No, 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 no. As clever as that. I'll give you another clue, shall I? Hang on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Well, considering it's which ground is it, whose ground is it, can we have one about the ground? Yes. And this is just, are, you, okay, are you? Is there a mirror exactly, behind me? Chris? Yeah. Is there a mirror behind me? <laughs> huh? But you've got I to guess the football we club. The yeah, football okay, club, yeah. right? It's not, it's not just about the, the ground. Okay. All right, I'm, change, I'm changing the logo next week. I'm changing the headline next okay. week, though, because of you. Yeah. Uh, capacity of their ground currently stands at 11,840. 11,840. Mm. I'll tell you what it is. It is a competition between the shout box and you pair. Okay? Yeah. Okay. The shout okay. box. And if the okay. shout box get it first... Um, then it's your round first when we go out. Right. Yeah, All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so SXC Brentford, surely no, it isn't Brentford. Um, no. Talking to bees, can you remind fans Please. that they can claim their losses for travel and hotels from Brentford? Yes, they they can. They can do that. But I'm sure they're pretty much all aware of that. Mm, that's great. So logically, 1888 when they were formed. Is there anything logical about the uh, football um, telephone numbers? The fact that at the end of ours is 1875. Right. Yes. Correct. Mm. So, logically, formed in 1878, your brother has just got it. Oh. 1888, your brother has just scored the own goal and he's got it. Your brother has got it just on those clues Oh, alone. you got the answer. Yeah, he has, yeah. yeah. He has. Yeah. He has. And the answer is Berry Football Club. Berry Football Club. I'll tell you what, I'm very impressed with your brother. Can I have you got a picture of the I, hope, I hope he didn't Google it. Have you got a picture of the crest? N- n- I haven't. No, no, but nice there is a tiny bee in the top of the crest. A small right, bee at the top of the crest. I didn't know that. I didn't know Well, here you go. Some interesting facts about Berry. Shall we do a few interesting well, facts about Berry? This is very interesting. <laughs> 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 they are nicknamed the Shakers. The crest or logo is formed from the town of Berry's crest and is explained as follows. The various images contained in the crest are an anvil representing metalwork, a fleece mm. representing wool, Two shuttles representing the textile industry and columns of the papyrus plant representing the paper making industry. There you go. The crest shows a B for industry between two branches of a cotton plant. Oh, yes, you must. The Latin phrase Vincit Omania Industria is translated to read conquer all industry, or in uh, today's terminology, hard work conquers all. Two stars were added for the 2011-2012 season to represent the Shakers, which is their nickname, two FA Cup final victories in 1900, which was 4-0 over Southampton, and 1903, which was 6-0 over Derby. Okay, The highest ever 
recorded FA Cup win. Two crests shown below. Well, I haven't got those anyway, but I think we're probably going to put them on the shout box anyway. Mm. But um, the, 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 the two crests involved, one was a special edition 125 anniversary used for the 2009-10 campaign, uh, and the bottom one was the original uh, from the club crest. Berry is the only club to have scored. Yeah, interesting fact. Interesting <laughs> fact. Are you ready? Berry... <laughs> <laughs> quality, quality. <laughs> oh dear, it's a shame I gave you a dip that earlier. <laughs> Berry are, are the only football club to have scored over 1,000 goals in each tier of English football. Interesting fact. Mm. That's an interesting yeah. fact. Yeah. yeah. I'm still awake, so you know, must be. I do like this snore though, mate. That's pretty good. I like. Can we use that more often? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I probably oh, will if you dear. keep coming up with things like that. Yeah. Oh dear. I wouldn't oh, have got it either. Your brother apparently saw it at the weekend on Soccer Saturday. Well, I didn't see it on Soccer Saturday. There you go. I just oh, picked no. a random football club yeah, today. Uh, if you look at it, it's uh, quite. You, you don't. You don't. You're not drawn to the B at the top. Are no, you aren't. No, but there is a B there, isn't there? I wouldn't have known there was a B at the top. Yeah. There you are. Well, there you go. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. <sighs> Gig Lane has been Barry's <laughs> football club. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only home since it was founded 115 years ago. Back in 1885, actually, they were founded. Okay, so the, 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 somebody's got the telephone number wrong. Now, the picture mentions are 112 yards long, 73 yards wide. See, I've got every, every fact. You're writing all this and down brother, at home. And your brother goes and gets it within a minute because he saw it on Soccer Saturday the weekend. That's terrible, mate. That's terrible. The time stands be open until. <laughs> oh, dear me. I've got nine pages on Berry Football Club here. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in anyway, guys. Yeah. I can close okay, your mic down, to, actually. Back, back to the Tilt and Talk <laughs> show. Um, right, look out for the competition on the uh, Tilt and Talk page on yeah. Facebook. And what we'd like you to do is go on to the Tilt and Talk page and add as many of your friends onto it as you possibly can. Um, we're up to about 760, 770, which has increased nearly 400 in the last yeah, two or three weeks, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is pretty good going. I'll have a look in a second. Yeah. Um, this programme around the world alone had uh, in excess of 100 downloads extra last week. Yeah, on top of our list of base, week, so there yeah, you go. Good, yeah. um, <clears throat> right, OK. Um, we're going to talk about Sunshine Smile right now. So if you could get that uh, up on the screen, that would be absolutely marvellous. Sunshine Smile UK is a charity football match, which is the Birmingham City Legends versus the Birmingham City Supporters. It's on August the 23rd and the kickoff is at 11 o'clock at the Triplex Sports Ground on Eckersall Road, Kings Norton, b 38 ss Entry is uh, £3 for adults and £1 for child. Gates open at 10 and all proceeds go to Sunshine Smile uh, UK. There's an auction and a raffle to be held after the game. Um, the Birmingham City supporters are short of a couple of three players. Mm-hmm. and it's, yep. I think it's £30, 30 pounds, uh, to Wichita's, play against yeah. the Legends, which is a great opportunity. Great. I can't because I'm too old and I think I'd snap. Well, I'd yeah. love to, but yeah. apparently I'm too young. It's 30, 30 How old and are you? over, 26. I think you'll get away with it. Just yeah. lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look older. You look that. a lot older yeah, than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you said it before me. <laughs> it's a uh, sharp tongue of mine, Mr. Oh, no, yeah. sharp tongue. Um, but yeah, um, so we're looking yeah. for three more players. Um, yeah. If you could uh, bash that around as well, share that on your Facebook pages as well. Um, mm-hmm. It is up on the Tilton Talk Show. Um, and just shout it around that three more players required. Mm. Kickoff is at 11 o'clock in the morning against the Birmingham City Legends. I don't know who's appearing, um, but. Um, I haven't got a clue no. about it. Okay. Clue. It'll be the normal If normal laps you want to get in touch with anybody, yeah. then please get in touch with Charlie Glover. Yeah. Uh, again, you can do that through social media. And uh, and I'm sure Charlie would be only too glad uh, to take your £30 off you, get you uh, into a kit and get you playing on Saturday. Mm. Saturday the 23rd of August. That's a week on Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a week on Saturday? It's, it is, yes. Isn't it? Is or is it? it? I, do you know yeah, what? I don't even 50, know what date yeah. it is. It, it is. Or is it this Saturday coming? It's this Saturday. It's this Saturday, Saturday coming? coming? No, it's yeah. Sunday. 17th. It's this today. Sunday. This Sunday coming. Sunday. This Sunday, yeah. All right. Yeah. So Sunday, August the 23rd. Yeah, don't go Saturday. Don't go Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. You can go Saturday and mow the pitch, if you yeah. wish. Yeah. Or play with the little or, kids. Or, 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 or draw, draw some white lines all over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, right, uh, so there you go, Sunshine Smile. Get on to Charlie Glover or get on to uh, the Tilt and Talk Show Facebook page, and uh, I'm sure you can find links through there. Yeah. And uh, let's get this thing off the ground and get them some, uh, get them some players. Mm-hmm. Chris Q, you said, I hope, this is uh, Blue Harbour. 
You said, I hope you are all writing this down. Are we going to have to... Are we going it's to have, have to have, have Berry again? Yeah. Are we going to have Berry again? I hope not. I think he's saying, because I said, are we going to write it all down, so are you going to test him <laughs> and do it again? Uh, no, no, please there. don't. All right, Blue Hobber roll on next week. I don't know why. And uh, Blue Hobber, I would never have got it. You would have done in the end, because I'd have said it was Gig Lane or something mm. like that. You know what I mean? It was a JD yeah. stadium now, isn't it? Uh, I could go back to some more interesting facts. Uh, you anyway. You could do, could anyway. You? I, have, no, I, I have downloaded an awful lot of data and information for Moving three on. hours this afternoon. Yeah. Yes. Thinking that nobody... Moving on. Oh, shut <laughs> Thinking that nobody would get it for God knows how long. Well, there it was on Soccer Saturday the oh, weekend. The, the that is, there's a pee take, isn't it? Yeah, where is the whistle, by the yeah. way? We need some red cars. Hang it up. Yeah, we need some red cars as well. Uh, yeah, that would be a good idea. But the snore is very good. I do like the snore. <laughs> right, OK. Um, Capital One Cup. OK, Blues draw Gillingham. Um, Gillingham at home. Not the biggest of draws, no. but the, the way they've done it the, with the seeding. How, how have they worked this? I don't get it, Chris. It just goes over the top of my head. Well, you've got the, so there's 48 teams, so they split it 24 each, and they seed 24 and 24 are non-seeded. So I think it was, you, you know, basically the the highest placed teams from last season hmm. get get in. Right. The seeds, and then everybody else is non-seeded. So, so what does a, seed a seeded do? team plays a non-seeded <clears throat> team? So we, we couldn't have had Blues Villa in the second round because we're both we seeded. were both seeded. Uh, so they're trying to get. I think get rid of it. They're trying to get yeah, really. the, get the better back to team, good the, old fashioned. I think they're trying to get the, the better magic? teams through. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. going to say they're trying to get the better teams through, but after the first Nine round results, teams, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. There, were, there were more shocks than there were non shocks. And you that's another debate on, on whether teams are taking it serious or not. But you can't beat a but, proper but draw, then, can you? But then Port, Portsmouth Derby was on the Wednesday night. Both teams rested their players. Both yeah. teams made loads of changes. Even Portsmouth made loads of changes, yeah. and they still beat Derby. So. Well, Gillingham beat Plymouth. I've got that home. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. Well, Gillingham yeah. had a really good start to the season. <coughs> they, well. they battered yeah. Sheffield United. Yeah. Of the league, yeah, yeah, they battered Sheffield United first game of the season. So they'll, they'll be flying high. So, mm. well, the full round, the full draw is uh, B6 versus Notts County, Warsaw versus Brighton, Crystal Palace, Shrewsbury, Sheffield Wednesday, Oxford, Portsmouth, Reading, Hartlepool, Bournemouth, Fulham, Sheffield, MK Dons, Cardiff, Hull, Rochdale. Sunderland, Exeter, Bury, Leicester, Doncaster, Ipswich, Rotherham, Norwich, Swansea, York, QPR, Carlisle, Barnsley, Everton, Peterborough, Charlton, Blues, Gillingham, Newcastle, Northampton, West Brom, Port Vale, Wolves, Barnet, Burton, Albion versus Middlesbrough, Luton versus Stoke, and Preston versus Watford. I tried to get that in before he put the snore on. No, 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 you're okay. Oh, you're, I thought that's no, what no, you were I was looking doing. for another one. I thought that's what you were doing. <laughs> So, so what about Blues and Villa, uh, Blues and Villa playing at the same, well, same time? The, the West we're we're the on the Tuesday night <clears throat> now. Right, right, they I think that's been going, so we're on the oh, Tuesday right, okay. night, so they'll probably be on the Wednesday no, night. No, um, the West Midlands Police have okay both teams to play on the same night. Oh, OK. Fair there enough. we go. Yeah. yeah. And um, I can't see there being, you know... Well, there, there won't be loads going, massive, so, yeah. Massive crowds. Yeah, yeah they, um, they obviously feel they can control it enough. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, it has happened before as well. Yeah, yeah. Really is it, it's yeah. just this round, I take it, that's seeded then, is it? Yes. It's a waste of time, isn't it, really? I like, you know, it can't be a proper draw. Can yeah. It? You know, it takes a bit of magic not, out, yeah, doesn't it? Where yeah. you could not, draw anybody. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And would it be good Would it be good to not dump Villa out of the cup at this stage, or would it be better in the semi-final? Ah, it's getting me a semi-final. It's yeah, final. 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 Could you imagine the trains oh. on the way back? Oh, oh, oh. If we, if oh we win, yeah. dear! Uh, ticket prices were to be confirmed later today. I have no details of them, to no. them, so you can just have a look on the uh, www.bcfc.com website, and I'm sure that they will be displayed quite amicably there. Right, ladies, killer, what's happening this week? Yeah, um, we uh, played Oxford United yesterday in a Continental Cup group match, our third group game, uh, and won three nil at home. Um, goals from Mel Lawley, um, Fred IEC, and Kirsty Linnett. Uh, we pretty much bossed it the whole way through. We made we made a few changes. Um, some of the younger players got a game. Chloe Peplow made her full debut in midfield, and she looked very assured on the ball. I've seen her a couple of times in the development team, and she's one that's just shot through. Like you know, what's her name? Uh, Chloe Peplow. Yeah, she. Um, 
she's just gone from strength to strength over the last year. Um, played in the Development Cup final, which we won last season, and um, um, played really well in that. And she's she's gone through into the first into the first team squad now. So, but um, but yeah, all, all of the younger players played well. Um, Mel Lawley was brilliant again. S- somebody who's probably pushing on as as a candidate for player of the season for me she's she's been really consistent in what's been a, a pretty inconsistent season um so yeah that's three group games gone now and we've won two of them and lost one so that's so, six um, points from three do they games use the, is it the full first team that get involved in or do, do teams tend to rest uh, yeah, against when because because oxford are a wsl2 side right so we we rested there was no Karen, no. Um, Jade Moore, and Joe Potter are, have been granted time to go away. At, you know, after mm. the World Cup, so they mm. weren't involved. Kerry's Harrop wasn't involved. So yeah, we did rest a, a few of the, a few of the regular first team squad, um, and gave the younger players a chance. And I think a lot of the WSL one teams are doing that when they play yeah. WSL two sides, especially the players who. Are, who played in the World Cup as well because obviously they've had a really long really long summer so there can't be any any many more regular games left can no there? there's or four league games four left league games. Um, yeah. and two more group games mm. um, obviously if we finish in the top two of our group we'll automatically go through to the quarters if we finish third then the best two third place teams out of the three groups go through as well so there's a there's a good chance we'll go through to the quarterfinals mm. now. So there's still a chance of some uh, silverware then. Yeah, well that that's the thing. As as inconsistent as it has been this season, it's been you know pretty disappointing at times. That there's still a good chance that you know mm. we can stay up and do well in this cup competition, and it could turn out to be a, a good season after all. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So, so we're, 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 where are they lying in the league? Yeah, they're uh, seventh, seventh out of eight. We're yeah. a point above Bristol, who are bottom. Nice. Um, played the same amount of games. And how many get relegated? Is Just it? the one. This Just the season. one. Yeah, yeah. So, and one up. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm, okay. So how are the Villa doing in there? Are they uh, in the they're, league, they're they're in league, league below? I think below. they're they're mid table this season. Right. Um, but the top three of the WSL two are a cut above everybody else yeah. in the league, really. So okay. there's a bit of a gap between the top three and the WSL two. And the Wolves have got a latest team now. Yeah, they? yeah. Well, apparently doing Wolves, well. West Brom. Well. Yeah, but they're in. Um, are they called the Dinglets? <laughs> <laughs> but they're um, <laughs> in a division below below that as well. So yeah. oh, well, they're okay. further down the pyramid. Oh, so, so. Yeah. oh good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So still playing to play for yeah. this season. Brilliant. Brilliant. Fantastic. So you, Thanks you, for enlightening us on that, mate. Very good. Let's Very good. all the snacks. I, I, do I know that. No, I'm just creating a rubbish bin. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, I, do, I, do like, I do like how a lady's um, chat. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lady's review. Yeah. Super 6. Okay, my Super 6 this week. We've got, uh, yes. got a drum roll. We've got a drum roll. Have no, I haven't. I'll get I have on. I'll joined get on in. I've joined in. I made a... Conscious effort to do it this way. I'll right. set myself no. on it. Can you follow me and I'll follow you back? Yeah. All right. Drum roll. I haven't got one. You've got no drum roll. It's close enough. Close enough. enough. <laughs> what was it, chicken? Yeah. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> you just love the expertise on his chest. It's close, isn't it? We used to have a drum roll. Yeah, I'll get one in it. I'll get no one No worries. Okay, um... I predicted one correct result this week and got a total of two points, and I have a total of to two weeks of two points, and I'm in position at one million one hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and fifty nine. So not doing so jolly well this season, no, Christmas no. so far. Awful. Well, I'll let you know. I don't know where I am, but I it was my first week predicting, and I got six correct results out of six, but no correct scores. So I've got oh. twelve points. So, are you Chris Pugh Stoke? Oh, God, there's no. hundreds of them. There's hundreds, there's hundreds of Chris Pugh's. Yeah. Oh, you got six. Yeah, it's quite, quite common. Yeah. Result six? Yes. That's right. Um, if, this is, if this is the one there, because it looks like the only Chris Pugh that's got six correct results, yeah. um, you're in position 498,683. That's pretty good. I'll I'll I'm going to start that. I'll follow you. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know whether you get a message. To yeah, that, yeah I'll have a look when I get back. Yeah. Well, I'm following one. You. Oh, <laughs> special. <laughs> Very special. <laughs> so you're thrashing me. You're thrashing me at the minute. Uh, and um, me versus the pundits, uh, I'm last. Whereas I, I was... No, I'm not. Chris Macara, uh, Chris Kumara is last. But that's no great surprise. No, it doesn't know. Strong start. <laughs> um, golly, Paul Merson's got 32 points already. That's that's pretty good going. Uh, that's Jeff good. Stelling's got 30. I think that's more than what he had all year last year. However, however, onwards and upwards, we'll, mm-hmm. uh, we'll pitch this every week now then. And, um, I sure. think I'm just quite glad that you didn't do the first round, to be honest with you. It'd be a bit of a troll and embarrassment, <laughs> wouldn't it, really? Um, so there you are. I'm following you on Super 6. Any of you want to uh, join in, do a Super 6 this, uh, this week. And you also stand the chance of winning £250,000. Oh. And Mr. Ben Teke has put Liverpool ahead. Woo! What a pity they're not playing the Villa, eh? I know. <coughs> uh, SKC said he got four correct results for him and one correct score, 13 points. If, SK, if SKC week. could, uh, f- could uh, follow either me or Chris Pugh, look for the Chris Pugh with a six correct results. Yeah. There's yeah. two of them, but there's one in Elf, Elf Church. And Blue Harbour has got 24 points. Oh, come on. Let's After all follow two each weeks. Other. Let's, all, let's all follow each other. Come on, let's, let's have a mass See, does know about football. Mine is uh, N-I-C-K, Nick Spall, S-P-A-L-L, Nick Spall. Um, I, I, I might get some followers. <laughs> <laughs> is it pretty easy to join? Is it? Yes. I mean, could I, could easy, I do it? Set up. You yeah. could do it, Chris. Oh, yes, do you, could, you could actually do it. And, and it's yeah. quite easy to, to uh, do your predictions as well. Oh, yeah. right. It's just... It's just. Um, it's not time consuming then, no. Because my time takes, is precious. It takes me about 45 seconds, I would say, a right. week. Okay, okay. If you could possibly be spare that, I've just, just about burped through shit. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, the dub just came up then, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> not good, not oh. good. Yeah, so um, we, I think we need a, a sports radio and a sports radio followers and fans, Super Six mm. League. League, mm. yeah. Which I'm currently, I think, probably the bottom. <laughs> is, it, is it Sky, is it? Or? Sky <coughs> Sports. Sky, Sky Sports, six, okay. Super Six, yeah. No, okay. Search on Sky Sports Super Six, and uh, yeah. and and it, it, it is ever so easy to join up. Just a few little details like uh, your bank account credit card mm. oh, details. That's fair <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. If you give them, uh, can I put your bank <laughs> <laughs> Great, great. Can I put your bank Great gesture there, Mister Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> Probably somewhere from like the south of Brazil. Or <laughs> yeah, I can have mine overdraft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, dear me. Um, gosh, gosh. <laughs> Has Nick in- the injected now. the dib dubs with some <laughs> loopy juice? <laughs> loopy juice. <laughs> have you injected some dib dubs? Uh, only yours, Capo. Only yours. <laughs> um, so if I were you, I'd eat the one with Gabby written on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you going Friday? Yeah, I'll be working. You working? Yeah. Yeah. Working. I might just see you then. Possibly. It's ever so hard to get back because I should start work at mm. ten o'clock in the evening. You see. Mm. You do well uh, to get back. Right? I won't get back for then. No. It will be. It will be like knocking on for midnight before I yeah. get back. And it's whether I can just get somebody to. Mm. Yeah. Blue Harbour said we need to set up the SRB league. Is that easy enough to do <coughs> as well? Not sure. Wouldn't know anything mm, okay. about that. Have a look. I'll have a look. I'll have a dib dab. Oh, right, yeah, OK, OK. Yes, you can have your own individual league. I'll oh. have a look at it. Do you want me to have a look yeah, at it? Yeah, you set it up. Yeah, yeah, because you've got more time than me. You've got more time. Yeah, I do. You don't do as much as me. time on your hands. Yeah. Time on my hands? I've got to go to the pub when I get back. It's hard life, isn't it? No, I have genuinely got to go to the pub Yeah, but you've got to paint it. No, I'm not painting it tonight, no. You can do a show. Just drinking it, John. I'm locking up and finishing off. Oh, right, OK. And doing a close down. Bit of bouncing. Hmm? Bit of bouncing. Bouncing. Locking up and bouncing. Oh, 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 bouncing. Not the bouncing. That's, that's, not, not, that's not a word we use nowadays. No, isn't it? No. What is it? What no. Is it? Door. Huh? Door inspector. <laughs> Door inspector. <laughs> what is it called then? <laughs> Don't let me laugh that, please. <laughs> I've been to a pub for a long time. <laughs> SIA registered door staff. Oh, right. Okay. Hmm. Not bouncing. Duh. No. No, back in uh, back in the day when I used to call the bouncers in, they'd come in. You know what I mean? <laughs> baseball bats and all. Now it's yeah, uh, please, allowed, sir, please, sir. Thank you, madam. Could you possibly walk this way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Show him a selfie. Yes, uh, the, 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 the whole thing's the old ethos has, has changed somewhat over the years. Um, right, I'm going to pick a harder team for the uh, whose ground is it this week? Next week? That sort of kind of made sense, didn't it? Whose ground is it this week? Next mm-hmm. week? Um, 
European flavour. Get a bit of European flavour on it. Oh. Go and grow. Do you think so? A bit harder than the English ones. Oh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try another English one next week, Chris, and I'm going to try and make it as hard as I possibly can. Right. Yeah. But I am going to watch my brother's band. I'm going to watch. Um, he watches Soccer Saturday. Soccer Saturday this week, just to make sure it's not the one that they <laughs> yeah. feature on there. Yeah. <laughs> All right then, people, lovely people. Only for fun predictions for uh, Friday night's game. Uh, starting with you, Chris. Just a prediction. It's been such a positive night, hasn't mm. it, just? Mm. Uh, one one. One one, Mr. Brown. I'm going for a two one. A cheeky two one to it's blues. It's not me. I've gone for three wins. Me, I'm going to two nil blues. I think we're going to defend resolutely. Okay. Resolutely. And uh, if you want to put your suggestions on the shout box, the one thing I would say Go as on. well. Um, obviously, we were supposed to play Brentford <clears> this week, this Tuesday, um, but it's been postponed. Derby, I've got a home game, but it's against Middlesbrough. Right. Who are who have started the season really well, yeah, and and they look on top form, so that might take a lot out of them as well. I know it's a home game, so they don't have to okay. travel. But you've you've gone but, for the one-one draw. That's, yeah, you know that's in, entirely your prerogative, so to speak. Um, last week's are here, so we'll have a look at those in a minute. <coughs> oh golly, uh, Burnley was obviously the, a two-two draw. Mm. Uh, well done to, to Doco for getting that correct. Blue Hobber went one-nil. Chris Pugh, you went two-nil. To Burnley, you didn't mm. even give the Blues a chance, not no. a look in, not a sniff. <laughs> they didn't even allow them to come to the burger bar and sniff the goods. Uh, Capo went 2 1, Chris 1 0, me 1 2. I nearly got that one right, Close. I handed him for that free kick. Um, SKC was a 1 2, and Craig was a 2 0. So well done to Doco. Um, we might have a little league on this as well, to be honest with you. Mm. And the Bristol away um, final score was 1 2. 1 2. Doco, Pretty nil sure. two, SKC two three, uh, Craig one two. So you got that one right. Uh, Auburn nil four, Capo one three, Chris Brown nil three, me one two. Uh, so I managed to get that one right. Chris Pugh uh, all one two. You managed to get that one right too. Can't do anything. Can't mm. let you. <laughs> like, you know, I'm always there, shoving your oar in. Always there. That, you know, I think I'm wrong about your brother. I'm dreading yeah. the Super Six now. I finished. I finished in position three thousand and something last year. Yeah. <sighs> Not good enough. And now every I'm, team has its You're only as good fluke. as your last prediction. Yeah, fluke season. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay. All right, let's get some off the uh, off the box. SKC. Okay, okay, yeah. We've got Channel K first. Uh, two one to the Blues. Channel K, two one. Yeah. Blue Hub has gone for a Blues one nil. Cheeky one nil. SKC gone to gone for a one nil Blues. Oh, one nil. He said that's going to be the first clean sheet of the season. Okay. Uh, Pewy six two one Blues. P6. And Channel K said Doco cheated. 2 1. Oh. And Doco cheated, though. Last week, Doco, 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 Doco probably Googled the scores, didn't they? <laughs> 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 Sorry, God. Doco's travelled forward into time. <laughs> yes. To, to right. find out the result. He's not even. And no. then come back and uh, predicted it wrong. Oh, we've missed him tonight. <laughs> don't forget guys they have a Tilt and Talk Facebook page once lots of new members we've added loads and loads and loads this last couple of three weeks and we really want to ramp that up we want to get to the thousand mark as quick as possible oh, it's not unachievable all you've got to do is go on the page and then add your friends yeah. add your friends my ex-wife has just put on Facebook that she's having a relaxing time in Mallorca oh great I love Facebook yeah huh? not particularly I like that for her bless her 778 members 778 we have. 778 members. Let's get that to the 1,000 mark as quick as we can. So it, yeah, it's so nice. simple to just go in and add people. Mm. Uh, all your people's lists come up there. You just tick them and then just send it. And, it's, and if they want to accept I think they accept it. And then uh, one of the, our admins have to uh, uh, approve the, uh, yeah, the guest yeah. list. Yeah. So yeah. The, the only reason... It's basically me and you. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> 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 one of our admin team yeah basically me and you it's like here's me trying to bull it up to you know, that shiny else, little highly professional sphere yeah. you know what I mean oh conglomerate me and you <laughs> oh, what, Clung- sorry conglomerate yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Stanley said great show thanks <clears throat> Pleasure. There we go. Nice one. Where, uh, what site's that on? That's on, That's on our Talk and Talk show. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. great stuff, Thomas. Well done. Uh, keep listening. Keep adding your friends as many as you can. What we're going to try and do is, is I'll, I'll sit here and monitor that one weekend and get you know have a, have a mass ad. 
You know mm. what I mean? So that we can just watch them keep coming through and then we yeah. can count them in on, on the show. So if we could perhaps do that next week. Good Monday. idea. Good idea. Um, Doco is not here tonight because he is on his way to St Andrews on Friday night. He's <laughs> time travelling to get the score. Well, yeah. that's a, yeah. There you go. Yes, right. yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's well, gone with his carer. What is he tonight? Have, have, have we missed him? He's, I bet he's trying to make his way. He here, might have he? got the hump last week when we cut him off on the phone call. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Has he? Has he? <laughs> has he taken one? Has he taken one on the chin for the team? Has he? Has he, has he gone off on one? He's, he's got the one. message. Has he really gone off on one? No, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> no. what a shame! You can't. You right can't upset Doc. No, I was going to wind him right up when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> God, I've missed him. Okay, so uh, the Derby fans were up there giving me a little bit of abuse last night in Weatherspoons as I uh, uh, graced their establishment, just for a few cheeky beers, of course, Chris. I didn't eat because uh, of the uh, past yeah, few experiences yeah. I've had there. I haven't been all too thoroughly pleasurable, shall we say. I enjoy my, my Weatherspoons. How oh, oh, local is your Weatherspoons to here? About ten minutes. Ten minutes walk or drive? No, drive, drive. Oh, ten minutes drive. I wouldn't drive walk. ten minutes to go to a JD. don't walk anywhere in Solio. Huh? Oh, we can walk in so little. It's so little now as well. So I bet yeah. you go at the back so and yeah. pee in the sink, don't you? You're that posh. <laughs> I do. Um, <laughs> I do. You have got, you've got class, though, Chris. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell, Kyle. Second, most of it's second, but yeah. you have got class. <laughs> you can tell. So the Derby fans, uh, as I say, giving me a little bit of stick. Um, why they go out on a, on a Sunday night with a Derby shirt on, I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, why do they go out? Why, yeah, why are they let out? Yeah, mm. who lets Why do they care as let them out? <laughs> huh? Um, what formation do you reckon we'll kind of play then, Chris? Do you think we'll, we'll change anything? Or do you think no, I think, go it'll be, it? I think it'll be the same as the Burnley game. I think he, he's got something quite good there with, with the two shielding mm. uh, and then the three attacking players behind Donaldson. I think I think he's got he's got something quite good there that's, um, that's a solid solid formation, I think, so... I'd be surprised if there was any challenges. And in they come. Daniel McClusker joined Facebook a month ago now wants to be approved as a member of the Tilt and Talk Show. Here we go. Approved. And uh, coming up also, Gary Dainter. Approved. <laughs> Stephen George Powis. Approved. And Chris Lowe. Approved. There you go. That's four. Excellent. Keep them coming in. Keep them coming in. Um, have you approved them as well, Chris? No, oh, you beat me to it. All right. So you're quick on it. You're oh, quick yeah, on the yeah. old draw, yes. yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Beat me. Quick on the draw. So let's see if we can get a few more. That's four on tonight's show, live as we speak. Excellent, wonderful stuff. I want to get to that thousand mark as quick as possible. Okay, sorry, back to the Derby game. Yeah, just just sound about the formation. As is. A, yeah, I don't think it'll, there should be any changes at all, no. So kind of as is. As is for Derby, yeah? Yeah, Are you I'd going? say so. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, one one. First or second half goal for Blues. Um, it'll be nil nil at half time. Nil nil half time. I'm writing all this down. Okay. I'm going to do you. Nil nil at half time. <laughs> Especially when it comes in. <laughs> yeah, this comes yeah. in. Oh dear, I'm going to be. I'll so be eating my dib dabs next week. <laughs> nil nil at half time. Who's yeah. going to score first? Derby to take the lead. Derby take lead, and we equalise within the last ten minutes. Uh, Blues equalise last ten, mm. and who's the scorer? It's, it's well, it's obvious, isn't it? It's um, it's Gray, Demari Gray. Demari Gray. Demi Demi score. Okay, back to the tilt and talk. Here we go. This is what we want to see. Tom Richmond approved. Uh, George Upcott approved. That's six more tonight. Well done. Excellent. Uh, you say it might only be six, but it's six. It's a six that we want. Six that is our super score. six tonight. Our sports radio super six. <laughs> <laughs> so, to recap. Don't don't tell them, because they won't, they won't need to go. They'll just stay at home, won't they? <laughs> yeah, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ring Doco in a minute and find out if this is true. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> as is kind of formation. Kind of formation, yeah? Yeah, four. Unchanged. As, yeah. as is uh, Derby. 1-1, one, one, full time. Mm. Yeah. No, no, at half time. Yeah. Uh, Derby to take the lead. Blues uh-huh. to equalise in the last 10 minutes. And the scorer is Dimmy Gray. Yeah. Yeah. Attendance? 18, 7-4-2. 7-4-2. I'm going to find out just how accurate your predictions are this time next week. I'm going, to, I'm going to place that in the drawer now so I don't cast my eyes upon it once again, Yeah. Uh, along with the scores. OK, off you go. Uh, the changes made by Rote surprised me the weekend. He took Torrell <laughs> off for Davis, then Cottrell for Robinson, 
It seemed like he didn't trust in any attacking players that we had on the bench. I think I, I think the Terrell, the Terrell, that, that kind of Terrell for Davis is. But he was playing so well. And yeah. He's got to get ninety minutes under his belt sooner rather than later. Yeah. But the gaffer. But we, had, we he, he knows we had we'd, we had Derby coming up on the Friday night as well. It's not like it's Saturday, Saturday. You know, mm. it's it's an extra day, and so. I, like, like I said, I don't think the changes he made yeah. affected the result. Um, you know, the, the free kick was a, was a quality free kick, and that's what's that's what got them the point in the end. So, um, I I can understand where they're coming from. It, it, it does look slightly defensive bringing Robinson on for Cottrell. I can understand that, but um, but I think we've got to be happy with the point mm. and, and and move on to the derby game then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking uh, forward to it. I am looking forward to it. To be yeah, perfect. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, we're going back. back. Oh, sorry, yeah, go on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you uh, look at that, I'll go back to the tilt and talk, okay. and we've got uh, Robbie Moore approved. Dean Kale approved. Dean um, Phelps approved. Daz Aris approved. Roz Aris approved. Robbie Moore. Approved another tranche of them, another tranche of them. That's what we want to do. Uh, we're going to do this again next uh, next week. Well, where's that time gone to, Mister Pew? Eight flown by. Eight fifty-six flown by. Have flown you had by. Fun? Did you enjoy your fruit, uh, your little fruit salad bowl? Yes, very much. So. I'm, I'm, so. I'm thrilled. The dib dab will come, you know, when you're ready. <laughs> when you're ready at the end of the season, when we take you out for that sesh. Boston night out with your brother mm. and, and and anybody else. It's always worrying around. when it's called a sesh. <laughs> yeah. Sesh is never end. But one thing we ought to do is take on a game as well at the same time. A game sesh. Oh yeah. What well, like whose ground is it this way? <laughs> I'm redoing that again next week. <laughs> Look, no, I had teething problems, so did Channel Five. What's your issue? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> What's happened with them lately? Because uh, there's been lots of emails flying around with a standard email being sent back to uh, people who are complaining but they have had an absolute mountain of complaints, haven't yeah. they? Well, I know they they sorted that they they changed it round by putting the leagues in order this time. They showed all the championship games, a bit, and then League One and then League Two. So they did it in order this time. So it it didn't feel as stagnated. But I don't know the the, the pundit, the the so called experts, and and the audience there. And I'm, I'm still not sure it's it's quite there just yet. No, it all seems a bit flat and a bit dry yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. but they do need to learn. They'll, they'll only learn from their mistakes. So, well, thank you ever so much. Look forward Looks to like whose grand is it anyway next week? <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight has been fun. Fun. It has definitely been fun. Um, have you got that queued, Chris, or not? I I Maybe was hoping to get an old one, but I've got another, I've got something. I've got another one queued anyway. Okay. So no problem. Um, <laughs> Uh, on TV then, uh, sorry, on, on TV live now in the Premier League is uh, Liverpool versus Bournemouth. Um, have we got an update on that score, or is it still? It's still one nil. It's still one nil. Still one nil. Yeah. Okay. I've got such a terrible win. I'm gonna be burping all the way up me. I'm 42. Um, so if you are following me in a car, well, hey ho. I can't help that. Um, it has been absolutely a thrilling pleasure to be here tonight. We've had some great laughs. Um, yeah. I've got your predictions for next week, Christopher. I'm keeping them in the drawer. Yeah. I'm so glad that your brother has joined in with us this evening, and we look forward to seeing him next week absolutely Let's bring him in one weekend he could become uh, he, he's not let out very often so ah. we'll, we'll have to <laughs> how say. old is he he's 23 23 and he's not let out, let out very often uh, shame eh Chris shame. Shame. never mind you can, it's, invite, it's him. For the, you can it's, invite him you can invite for the him. best of the public anyway mm. listen me lovelies have a great week uh, I think we've had a cracking start to the football season um, would have been nice for a win Saturday but hey ho that, uh, that, that, that free kick put Kai Bosch to it but never mind mm. we're Birmingham City we'll fight till the end have yourselves a great week look forward so very much to talking to you all again next Monday night Chris Pugh and Chris Brown my friends good night good night every road through life is a long long road filled with joys and sorrows too as we journey on, how your heart may yearn for the things most dear to you. 
with wealth and love to store. But onward we must go. Keep right on to the end of the road. Keep right on to the end. Though the way be long, let your heart be strong. Keep right on round the bend. If you're tired and weary, still journey on till you come to your happy abode. Where all you love and you dreaming of will be there at the end of the road. Thank you.